Hello and welcome. We are going today to see how to remote manage a NANA server, specifically by remote management tools using the graphical user interface. So I have here in front of me NANA One, which is the server here right in blue with its configuration. Its IP address is 192.168.1.51 and its name is NANA One. Otherwise, I'm the sysadmin of the system. I'm Christian from Vision 6D. I have there in gray a domain controller which is 81 and it's the server I'm going to connect to. For those manipulations, uh, some of them might not go in your environment. The first thing to look at is to make sure that your firewall is not blocking you. I have a complete video dedicated to the firewall on Nano One servers, so have a look at them. You will see how to look at the state of the firewall and how to change that one. Let's now do a first test by seeing whether we can ping the server. Okay, the server is now responding. So we come here on the server manager and uh, we see that we have just actually the 81 server. So what I'm going to do is to add here into the manage, add server, and I'm entering the name of the server, which is Nano One. It was found in Active Directory, so I'm going to add it. And I have here the addition of that server which is in progress. We see now that the server has been added here. We see Nano One. There are some slight issue, but we leave them aside for the moment. So from there on, what can I do? By right clicking on the server, you see that I can add roles, restore the server, manage the computer, do remote desktop connections. I can open a window PowerShell directly from here, configure Nick Teams, and so on. So what I will start now, it's to start the window PowerShell. We will now see what's running on that server. And we see here all the available services. So from there on, there are many things that can be done using PowerShell. I won't go any further into this. What else can I do with the server manager? From here, I can also now use so add roles and features. So we'll go to next, next, and you see here that it's offering me now the possibility to install also packages on nano one formation dot local. It's not really packages. We will see this in the next click. You see here we are restricted to the packages we have installed during the installation process. So with the kind of server that is really light that I have here, the only thing I could do is to add file and eSCSI service. So it proposes me remote server administration tools, storage replica. So I will here propose that we install the remote server administration tool. Let's click next. This is everything as usual on any installation for a Windows 2016 server. It has been installed and we say close. We see here in the notification that the installation succeeded on Nano One. I'm now going to launch the performance monitor to see what's going to, to happen. By right clicking on performance, we can connect to another computer and I'm going to give here the name of Nano One. We see now that the performance monitor is open and uh, we can see that uh, we get information from the Nano server. We are now going to uh, see the computer management from remotely. So it opens here and uh, we are going to look at the um, events viewer in the log in the system to see what is happening there. We go down here to make sure that the logs we are receiving are well from the nano server. So here you can see that this is running and is uh, what we expected to, to have. So all the logs that we receive here are from the nano server. We are now going to look at the shared folders. 
shares. We, we have the official shares, the usual one, the default one, and we are going now to add a new share. So we have the wizard that opens and we are going to say here, folder pass. We are going to create a new folder for this that I entitle share me dash nano one. So this is the name of the folder. You see that it's well defined on nano one formation dot local share me nano one. And I just click next here and we'll say that all users have read only access. Finish. And we are going to, to check this. And here we are. So I can here create a new directory. And of course, I need to have some permissions to do that. We are now going to check for that chair. So we see it here, it's here defined. We are going to look at the properties and share permissions. And we see here that we have read only for everyone. So we might add, for example, domain administrators. Okay, and to domain administrators, we are going to give them full control apply so okay so far we've done that let's go to the file explorer we are going to our network shared folder it's here let's try to see whether we can create a new folder the new folder will call it test01 so i can also now add this as a drive map network drive i use n like uh, nano i'm going to close the file explorer open it again and we exactly see here our drive with test one with this we've done the the check of the file explorer there are of course other ways to mount it with the command line net use and so on but i think for the test we did this is just fine so far so good i think that we've seen several ways to manage remotely that uh, server so uh, of course there are many other possibilities but I won't go any further so you can do your, your test you can check what I did you can do with other methods and then give me some feedback till then see you soon and have a good time bye <laughs>